Bitcoin crashed down to $29,000 and quickly got a bounce up to $32,500. What could be the next target for Bitcoin on the upside as well as if Bitcoin breaks to the downside? This and much more in today's video. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Hello friends, my name is Soham and I welcome you to Crypto Bulls Club, your one-stop destination for all the technical analysis and news from the world of cryptocurrencies. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon. This will notify you with all the new videos that we release and we release new videos every day. Also, if you'd like to discuss about Bitcoin or any other cryptocurrencies, head over to our Telegram family. The link is given in the description below as well as in the pinned comments. So without further delay, let's jump onto the Bitcoin charts. As we can see, Bitcoin had a dump down to about $28,780, right? So we got a huge dump and this candle in itself was approximately 10% in the 4 hours chart. So that's pretty, pretty massive. But I think that for the time being, this is the bottom that we have seen. Again, I say it's for the time being, I don't mean for the market cycle. I believe for the market cycle, there is more downside risk to come. But if you are to make a quick trade, what could be the price target and why I say that this is the bottom that we have seen. So for that, let's get the FIBZIA. So on the FIBZIA, what we have discussed earlier is either side when the price has actually breached out of this band, we will see a reversal. Now, for the past few days, we have been breaching the downside zone as we can see right here. Okay, so we have breached the downside zone for the past few days, for the past month probably, right? So one of the major things that we need to notice here that once we breach the downside risk, there's an immediate uptrend that is followed. So that followed here on 19th of May, here in 24th of May, again here on the 8th of June and again today, on the 22nd of June, we got a downtrend, we got a wake of the candle right below this range and we immediately got a push up. Now, what is the range that I'm expecting that we might touch in this go? So if we just look left on the charts, what we can see here is basically we were actually touching the top of the red zone. Do we see this? The top of the red zones, so we touched it all the times, right? So we came down here, we touched it here again. We came down here, we touched it here again. And this time also we are expecting that we might touch this top of the red zone. So what is the red top of the red zone currently at? The top of the red zone is currently at $37,800. But to be on the safe side, I'm expecting $37,500 is something that Bitcoin might achieve in the next couple of days. Now, why do I say so? Again, as we have discussed earlier, all the price action that happens in Bitcoin or any other asset happens within the zone of the FIVZIA. Now, there is no doubt in the 4 hourly chart that we are in a bearish market, but this should not restrict you from making any trades. Now, for our premium members, we took a trade at about $31,800 and we are currently at about a $600 profit. So the premium members are actually in decent profit already in this candle. Now, what is the target that we have? The first target for us would be the moving average. So for the moving average, let us see. So the 20 day moving average is currently at around 33,789. So I believe that would act as a resistance. It did act as a resistance right here as well. So that would be the first target where we would be booking the first profit. Again, mind you, I'm not a financial advisor. These are not financial advices. These are my personal opinions. So please do your own research before investing. But According to me, according to the facts in the charts, what I feel is 33,790 would be the first resistance for Bitcoin in the short term, like in the next, probably in the next eight to 10 hours. Okay, 33,790 is the target that we are looking for. Once we break above that, probably we will be looking at around $36,000. Then the target would be the 30. $6,700 and that is where I feel probably we can get a rejection and we might again come down but you never know right because here we see in the past move that we had we actually went above the 200 period moving average as well so you never know we might just go to $38,000 as well but if you we are to just look at the facts in the charts and what we see over here are the moving averages which will act as a resistance for us in the near future. Now, if I just pull out the Fibonacci retracement, I can find more support and resistances level. So let's do that very quickly. 
So again, as we can see, the first level of resistance would be at around $33,500. That is where we are looking at. Then probably we might look at that resistance level of the 100 period moving average, right? Which was at around $36,300 or so. So these are the two levels that I am watching out for currently. Our premium members have their trades set up at these two levels. They will book their profits accordingly. If you want to be a premium member, make sure you join me on Telegram and I can guide you. Otherwise, also, if you have any doubts, make sure you join us on the Telegram channel. Now, looking at a broader perspective, let's go to the daily chart of Bitcoin. And here, I think we are actually forming a double top pattern on the Bitcoin daily chart. Now, this is, as we know, is a very bearish scenario. Like, for example, this is the double top that we have. And if we just tend to break to the downside, then we'll take the measurement from the top to the bottom and we'll place it right on the bottom line so the price target that we are getting over here is around twenty-two thousand dollars now will we go to twenty-two thousand dollars at one go personally i do not believe so twenty-two thousand dollars has acted as a strong support in the past as well in this zone that we can see right back in december it acted as a strong strong support so we moved about it on the 17th of december then we tried breaking below it but it acted as a good support so that level of 22,000 is something that I am looking at very closely. But from personal perspective, I still believe we are yet to see the bottom of this particular bear market. And people often ask me what could be the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario for Bitcoin is the 200 week moving average. Now let's go to the weekly chart and see where the 200 week moving average is lying currently. So on the weekly chart, we'll plot the moving averages driven and we can see that the 200 week is at currently is at around 13,383. I strongly believe that if we are to go bottom and the worst case scenario for us is the 200 week moving average, which at that point of time could be somewhere around $14,000 and as mentioned earlier, the $14,000 is a strong, strong support for us if we look left on the charts. So these are the few things that we should keep in mind. And if we just go back to the four hours chart, why I feel that we can get a decent pump is basically of the because of the volume. Do we see this volume right here? This was a huge pump. It was it was one of the you know, one of the biggest pumps that we got. So this actually shows us that people are actually willing to buy Bitcoin at thirty thousand dollar level, which is a very very strong strong support for us. Mind you, if we go below thirty thousand dollars, then thirty thousand dollars will prove to be a great resistance for us in the near future as well. But we'll keep that for the future. As of now, these are the few levels that we are keeping in mind. So if you want to take a trade, do your research and you can put in the trades. If you want to know how to trade in futures, we have made a video on how to trade on Binance futures. You can see that video in the description below as well. So that's pretty much it about this video. Stay blessed, stay happy, take very good care of yourself. Also, if you like the video, please smash the like button. Please share the video with your friends. This gives us a lot of motivation to create new videos. My throat is not good today, but still I thought of, you know, I noticed this pattern and I thought of making this video for you guys. So thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys turning out to our Telegram channel as well. So if you haven't joined our Telegram channel, make sure you join that as soon as possible. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for tuning in. Stay blessed, stay happy. Bye for now.